What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to The Brown Gen. If this is your first time here and you want to attain financial freedom, then hit that subscribe button and check out our free Discord. We're starting to grow a community over there, so come join it. I'll put the link to it in the description below. And you guys know the drill already. Nothing I say is financial advice, and this is all for entertainment purposes only. So normally on this channel, I spend a lot of time focusing on value and growth-oriented stocks. Now, if you're in the stock market, this is a good time to hold on tight to your highest conviction plays and exercise those diamond hands. However, I'm always gonna talk about where the best opportunity is, and it's no longer a secret that the cryptocurrency market is the place to be if you wanna make money right now. But outside of Bitcoin and Ethereum, there are just so many options. It feels like so many new coins come out every day and apparently the moon is gonna be packed because they're all going there. It's like the paradox of choice. You only have a certain amount of money and you wanna pick the best ones. And I have a very different strategy when it comes to crypto, so bear with me. Now, those of you who've watched my videos in the past, you guys know I'm not much of a risk taker. I'm not willing to YOLO my life savings into meme coins just for the thrill. But at the same time, I'm not exactly the type that's sitting there counting my index funds and dividends every morning. Now, the way I chose to set up my crypto portfolio, I have 80% in coins that I really believe in. So let's say I have $5,000 to invest in crypto, I put $4,000 into Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and Ripple. Now the first two, Bitcoin and Ethereum, everyone kind of agrees that they have undeniable value. But the other two are what I believe will be the future of this space. I'm not gonna get into the why today. That in itself is its own video, but I'll definitely make those videos in the future. So after spending four of the initial 5,000, we now have $1,000 left. So how are we gonna spend it? So let's take a look at all the coins that are available to you. Whether it's SafeMoon, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, Bonfire, Harmony, I could literally be here for hours listing them out. In fact, I bet there are people in the comments below who are posting other coins that they'll tell you are also going to the moon. So yeah, count those two. So I take a fraction of that thousand dollars and put it into each. Maybe a little more into the ones that are more hypey or more momentum driven and less in the ones that are less hypey. And if some of those coins are too close to all-time highs, what I would do is I'd buy less of it so I could average down if it dips. Then I would enter all of these transactions into CoinGecko, which is a really cool and free smartphone application. And what that does is it tracks your crypto portfolios in one spot. Because at this point, I have like six or more apps where I store my crypto. And I'm sure it's the same for you guys. I'll include a link to it in the description below if you wanna check it out. Now. Here comes the most important part of the strategy. When you double your money on any of these speculative coins, no matter how you feel, I don't care. Just pull out your initial investment. You better have strong pullout game. From this point on, you have no risk in that coin and you can let it run as long as you want because you're playing with house money. Do this with all your speculative hype coins and you're able to basically plant a garden where you have so many seeds that have the potential to skyrocket without really having any risk. Now this is a strategy that I've used with all the coins I mentioned above to basically give me so much exposure to these coins with no risk. And because of this strategy, when I'm speculating on these coins, I do very little research. I mean, the more rocket ships and moons next to them, the better, of course. We got Safe Moon, but we also now have Safe Mars. So maybe that means it'll go even further. All kidding aside, I just try to get in as close to the bottom as possible. If you wait for an exchange like Coinbase to list the crypto, it's likely already too late to see the highest part of the growth curve. And I know it's not sexy because everyone just wants to make a lot of money really fast. And most of the time, YOLOing just leads to heartbreak. I don't want that for you guys. We have no way of knowing when a crypto correction will happen. But by doing this, you prevent yourself from being bitten by exercising risk management, by keeping speculative coins below 20% of your portfolio and taking out your initial investment in these coins, which allows you to plant even more seeds elsewhere. And when the correction happens, cause that's inevitable, it'll be just like the dot-com bubble. Only the real coins will stay and the rest will fade out of existence. We want to maximize on this bull run before that happens. And if you come to my channel, I'm going to continue to give you investing strategies that I use myself to minimize my risks and maximize my gains. And if you like this video and you want to keep seeing more of my content, smash that subscribe button and join our family. Post in the comments below and tell us how crypto has been treating you. And while you're at it, like and share the video if you know someone who wants to make more money in crypto. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.